What up to my Jets family, man? Happy Monday. You know, Monday when you feel like, yeah, I can actually go to work with my head up like, mm-hmm, say something. <laughs> Excuse me, man. I was just eating a little lunch, but just to recap on the game, man, it was one of the most exciting games of the weekend. You know what I'm saying? The Jets show real fight. Robert Sala's defense is a real deal. And we got a special kid behind the quarterback position, man. This, this is just the little glimpses of things that are here to come. I guess we do have to be patient. Because this time around, it looks like we actually might have the right puzzle pieces. I'm not going to go crazy and say, oh, playoffs now. All I'm saying is, it looks like they want to play for Robert Sala. LaFleur, I got to give you credit too, man. Some great play calling going on. Allowing... You know, playing to the skill set of Zach Wilson. You know, um, letting him do what he does, which is roll out the pocket, move with his footwork, you know, um, make the play last a little bit longer to find that open man. He took some shots, man. He's aggressive. <laughs> we got an aggressive one on our team, man. But with the right mechanics, the right leadership, and the right maturity, which I believe – Finally, we are going to do that to, for a quarterback. I think he's going to blossom, man. And I do think that this can be a promising future for us. You know what I'm saying? And I got to give it up again, man. That, that front seven is crazy. That dude, the Bryce Bryce brothers, man. Bryce Huff. Bryce Hall in the backfield. Um, we got Mosley tackling like crazy. You know what I'm saying? Little Michael Singletary action for him, man. That's what he reminds me of a little bit. He's just everywhere, you know? Um, Rankins going crazy. Sheldon Rankins going off. The Williams brothers, Quincy and uh, Quinnen going off, man. That defense is not playing. Dare I say sack exchange 2.0? Woo, that defense was on that ass. Seven, seven sacks. Oh, man, it was crazy, man. We had Ryan Tannehill running for his life. And, uh, you know, we knew Big Man was going to get his his running yards. You know what I'm saying? Um, Henry, but... or not, I mean, uh, you know I'm talking about running back for the uh, Tennessee Titans. But you, we did. We did one hell of a job, man, playing, playing uh, straight-up defense, consistent defense. And um, them boys got it done on that side of the ball. And on the offensive side of the ball, man... We got a real cushion with the receivers, man. You know, I, I was meaning to say Corey Davis yesterday. I kept saying more for some reason. I was just excited about that win. But Corey Davis started off slow, and I was getting, I was really getting frustrated with that. I was like, why do we get this cat? Can't even perform against his old team. But damn, he came alive in that second half, man. He started helping out the young quarterback. That's what the receiver should do help this young man grow confidence and when he throws and to be there for the ball if it's there you got to catch it you have to catch it man so i believe going forward man we got we got some great things going on man and i do believe we will see maturity in this team as a whole we got a lot of rookies on this team from the coaching to the you know to the to the uh, players but we will see maturity and I just got to give a big ups to my Jets mania out there, man. Enjoy this day. And let's go to, let's go to London and show Atlanta that we're real deal. All right, my man. All, all right, my teams, my peoples. I'll be in touch with y'all real soon, man. One love and like I say always, J-E-T-S. Jets, Jets, Jets. Get it, baby. I'll holler.